What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Trenchcoat. And I'm back with part 22 of the Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. We are going to start this off with John's mission right over here. Once we get there. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. a little short. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Right over here. Hi, little Arthur. Abigail. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's go find young Jack. Man, the heck is... Oh, I see him over What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you start a dirt in your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Mount up over here. Let's go. Alright. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I ain't a kid. <laughs> I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking, silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. Oh damn. Well, that's uh, as good too bad. Spot as any. Just kidding. There you go, dude. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Right over here. Where is it? Oh, it's an item. There it is. But first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. 
cheese? Mellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Fish on the line. I see. I see. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you rock try bass. to reel him in. Look, Jack! It's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Alright, dude. Let's keep fishing here. Well, let's try again. Oh, I missed that, my bad. I don't really pay attention. There we go. There! Got him! Is it a big one? Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna Probably try not. reeling him in nice and steady. Wait, he's bigger than the other one. It's a bass, I think. This one's a smallmouth yep. bass. Not bad. Keep on. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happened. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. That's the life lesson you're just getting. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Oh. And in such complex circumstances. Uh, Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? No. Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Hmm. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Mm -hmm. How do you know I had anything oh, to do with that? Old-fashioned nowadays. Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? 
He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. You bastard. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Are you mad? Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. Get out of here, fool. While you still can. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Who are they? Hitler, Hitler looking Don't worry about no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Let's get out of here before any more surprises show up. Come on, dude. All right, let's go. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well. Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, Not quite. I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are! How you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? I'm not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just what? yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. Oh, we got your problem. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. A fisher of men. Got this mission over here. I feel like I should save that for the next part. Yeah, we'll save that for the next part. Let's do uh, this thing over here. This thing, real quick. You busy, Arthur? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. 
couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. Family local boogeymen, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. This sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Alrighty. Mount up and head over. Easy, easy. You're coming up with me falling. Yeah. I'm already ahead of him. There we go. All right. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Thank you. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. Oh, that's not great. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh yeah. You got your binoculars? Yes, sir. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All right. Oh, we're cool up here. Definitely. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Yeah, you would think someone would be, like, guarding out here or something. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Stay low, Arthur. I didn't get out. I didn't mean to. Just stay quiet. Maybe use Hunter Pig this time once, Mal. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone for ten minutes, I was. Gag all day now, day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt. I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go. You understand what they're saying? Not much. Nope. Of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction. 
Then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Well, that's reassuring. Alright. Sure, why not? Alright. Excuse me. Has to be under here. Oh. There's no place else I could store it. Well, maybe like in the hay bales or something. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. A lot of Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. That fast back, man. That sounds good. that like button, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace out.